Education has been considered as one of the best fundamental tools to enhance adolescent and youth's opportunities. And if it is combined with life skills initiatives, it can assist the girl in particular to support their families as well as community. Approximately more than 1 million forcefully displaced Myanmar nationals with about 56% women and girls took shelter in Cox's Bazar, Bangladesh, making the largest refugee camp throughout the world. FDM and community is now in a better condition from the perspective of shelter, food, nutrition, wash, health and education. However, for adolescents over 12 years of age, particularly for girls, there are very few appropriate educational facilities in the both host and Rohingya communities. The education sector in Rohingya response program has reported to achieve only 10% of the targeted 56,000 adolescents in 2022 in any form of educational activity so far. Considering the context, the Conflict Resilience Research International Canada with the funding support from the Global Grant of Rotary International in partnership with Prantik Unnoyan Society started to pilot four female learning centers comprising a total of 100 adolescent girls, 70 from Rohingya community and 30 from host community which were either dropped or not enlisted currently with any form of education. The theme of this piloting is passing the learning forward scheme. According to this scheme, 100 adolescent girls each will mentor three more girls. Each new girl will choose three more girls. The process will continue without a stop. This is how the pilot project is expected to generate incremental progression in basic educational extension and outreach. Therefore, we need to identify best learning strategies to share with the Rotary International, the Government of Canada and relevant stakeholders at home and abroad to initiate potential post-project scale.